Hey guys, Jeff here. Uh, this is going to be a quick one, but I really wanted to share this because for some reason, I just heard about it only a couple months ago. Um, I've heard of free viewers from Autodesk and there's there's been different versions of variations of how to view files. But this free viewer um, is something that is unique in a few different ways. And so I'm just going to jump right into it and just talk about what I'm going to talk about today, which is introducing you to this Autodesk free viewer that is online uh, that supports a whole bunch of file types and then specifically how to use your Revit files within this, within this environment. So before I show you the Revit side of it, I did want to jump in and just show you what I'm talking about. And this is if you go to viewer.autodesk.com. And um, if you are an Autodesk user, which most of you probably have usernames, um, then you have the ability to upload files. What I have here is actually a Navisworks document file, so an NWD file. And you can see if for those of you familiar with BIM 360 and ACC, this looks very similar to that. Um, and this viewer itself um, pretty much is that. Uh, it's got all the same features as it. Um, it's got section planes. It's got, you know, all the all the fun stuff that we're, we're used to in, in BIM 360 and, and ACC. Um, the biggest difference is right over here. So way on the corner, you could see it says share. Okay, so if I click share, guess what? I can share my file, okay, with users or anyone. And that's the huge difference between this and ACC or BIM 360. Anyone who has used ACC and BIM 360 knows the awesome value in this cloud-based work process with where you can view and, and share views and coordinate and all that stuff. But if you want to just send a link to a client or an owner or somebody who's not in the project, it's impossible. They have to be, they have to have an Autodesk account and they have to be part of the project. Guess what? With this viewer, you don't have to be part of the project. That link can go to anyone in the world. They can click it on their iPad, on their on their phone, on their browser, and they can open up the model with whatever restrictions you want and see it, okay? The other really neat thing about this is it's not just Revit files or Navisworks files. There are something like 70 or 80, I didn't actually count all of them here, but <laughs> these are all the supported file types. Anything from 3DM to DAE, which is Collada files, to DXF, to FBX, to uh, GBXML, uh, you name it, um, um, 3D and 2D file types are supported. Um, I don't know why it's not advertised at all. I think this is a huge benefit to, to Autodesk uh, users um, to be able to upload a file and then share specific views. And so what I'm going to talk about today is just in the Revit world, what this means and how you can set up a project to use it. Um, and there's not much more to it. I promise you, it's actually very simple. The biggest thing is understanding how you can get specific views into this viewer to then share with other people. Um, so by default, if you were to throw a Revit file on this viewer, what would happen is you would just get um, potentially your default 3D view and then maybe some floor plans, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the process of um, sharing a model um, and some views um, with, let's say, a client maybe uh, using this this particular uh, tool. So what I have here is a, a barn project that I was working on. And you can see here's kind of what it looks like here. And if I click around, um, you can see there's the barn. Woohoo, woohoo. So as it stands right now, this is a local file, not centralized. You don't need cloud work sharing. You don't need work shared files. You need nothing. Okay, you just need a Revit file. It can be work shared. It can be all that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, because all you're going to do is drag this file into the viewer. Um, the problem is if you do it with just right now, if I just press save and I, and I, and I throw it on and I throw, throw this file onto the viewer, um, I'm not going to have any control over what views are seen. It's probably going to take the default view and maybe some sheets or nothing at all, or maybe just the default view. So in order to control this, what you do is you actually use the BIM 360 and ACC publishing settings, even if you're not using cloud work sharing. Okay. So pretty cool, right? So if I go up here. On the top, I go over to where it says collaborate and I go to publish settings right here. Okay. What I can do is I can create a set. And this is how anyone who's used BIM 360 or ACC, this is how you would do it. Um, this is how you would kind of set up what you're going to publish to your project in the scene. Even though I'm not publishing this, this is a local file with no work set work sharing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a set. You could use set one, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm actually going to, I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call this um free viewer for the win ftw okay so free viewer ftw i'm going to check that box and then i'm going to go down to 3d views in the model 
and I'm going to select a couple of different views. I'm going to select the default. Um, I'm also going to select um, a few other. These are actually not the greatest views, but there's a section box, first floor. And then I think there's a diagram. We'll see if that I don't remember if it's up to date. But um, what you'll notice is you can do perspective views. You can do all kinds of good stuff. Design options, all that stuff will be view dependent. So you can actually show a whole bunch of great stuff in here. And then on top of that, I'm also going to go to sheets, which I don't even know if I have any sheets in this project. So let me just double check. Um, sheets. Uh, I've got some sheets, but I don't know if there's anything on them. We're just going to throw a, a first a floor plan and maybe elevations on there. And then I'm going to click save and close. So all I did, okay, and I'm just going to save my file, save my local file. So all I did is I went to collaborate, I went to publish settings, and then I created a set and just checked off some views and saved it. That's it. No cloud work sharing, none of this stuff, you name it, whatever. Okay, so super simple. Um, now I'm actually going to go over to the viewer. And I'm going to go to viewer.autodesk.com. If you're not signed in, sign in. I'm going to go to upload files and I'm just going to grab this file. So here's the file that I saved today. I'm going to drag it over. It's going to ask you, do you want, do you have more than one file? Uh, which is pretty cool because I haven't actually tested this, but I think it also means that links, if you have links set up in your view, um, then um, you can actually pull them in there and, and you can see them, which is really neat. I actually, I haven't tested this out yet. And so if anyone wants to feel free, um, but I'm going to say no more files and I'm going to let that upload. So then it's going to upload and then it's going to process. Anyone who's dealt with BIM 360 and ACC knows that the bigger the file, the longer the processing can be, but once it's processed, it's good to go. Okay, so we're back. <clears throat> it's processed. It took about five minutes to process, uh, upload and process a 75 megabyte Revit file. So actually not that bad. I was expecting a little more. Um, so now if I check this out, you could see here's one of my 3D views. You'll notice on the left hand side over here, I have a 3D program diagram, 3D section box and a 3D. The program diagram, I guess I did not turn that design option on, but there was, maybe I deleted it. Uh, there was a cool little diagram here. And then if I go to my default 3D, you could see. So these have different view states, which is pretty nice. Um, so if I click around here, um, you'll notice that this does have your, your typical uh, model browser. So you can search for you know, specific uh, by category, generic models, uh, stairs, supports, light fixtures, you know, et cetera. You can kind of go through uh, just like you would in BIM 360. And you'll, then you'll notice that I can also do two dimensional views. So, but only the views that I specified in that published settings are the views that came that went there. So there we go. Pretty nice. There we go. Uh, and you can see I've got my three, my floor plan. And then if I go in here, it looks like I have my uh, sheets with some window schedules. All right, there we go. Pretty cool. Okay, so pretty easy, right? And now remember, I can share this with my client um, and, and they can view it on any device. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend to be the client. So I'm going to actually click share. I'm going to take this link. So what you'll notice first um, by, by default is that um, uh, it says share this design for 30 more, 30 days, 30, uh, 30 more days, whatever. <laughs> uh, basically, you have 30 days. Um, you'll get a warning before it expires and you can re-up it. I don't know how many times you can do that. I don't know if you can do that forever. I'm not really sure. But for the most part, it's 30 days at a time. And you do have the ability to change if you don't want them to use section, if they want them to use that ridiculous uh, explode tool, which I still haven't found a good use for. Um, if you don't want them to uh, measure or 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 enable the uh, model browser. So you can actually uh, change, change some of the things, which is nice. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to jump over to an incognito window. So I'm going to pretend to be the client now opening. So I click the link. Remember, I'm not logged into Autodesk. I'm incognito, so I'm not logged in. I can click this thing. You can see even on the top, it says sign in or sign up for free. And look at this. <clears throat> I can see all the views just like when I shared it. So now you have the ability to share with anyone, <laughs> uh, not just with Autodesk users. So I'm not really sure why this isn't marketed or, or, or sold to, to users. Uh, more. Um, this is an extremely powerful tool. I kind of wish that this sharing ability existed in BIM 360 and ACC. And I've mentioned that in numerous times, uh, numerous calls with Autodesk, um, because it is a challenge um, to, to sort of, you know, use this tool that gives us this great 3D browsing, uh, 3D in the browser type of ordeal, but then have to sort of coach your clients or whoever you're sharing with um, on, on becoming a member of that project. It's a nightmare. And so this is a no brainer. Um, but it's also great for just quickly um, 
um, viewing files. So if someone needs to view a CAD file who has no clue what CAD is or, or installed on their computer or, or doesn't have licenses, all that good stuff, and they just need to quickly view it, this is something, right? Or a, a Rhino file, a 3D Max file, you name it. So hopefully you guys uh, take something away from this and try it out. Um, hopefully this gave you a little lesson on how you can use Revit files within it. Um, if, you've, if you guys check out the links and let me know how that comes out. Um, and yeah, so head on over to viewer.autodesk.com and try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I was super excited when I found out. Also, make sure you test it out on, on iPads and iPhones and, and tablets and stuff just to see because it's, it's, it's really neat. Um, so you're getting the power of this Forge platform, is which I'm assuming is in the backbone because it's very similar to BIM 360. Um, and the viewer, um, but you don't have to have Autodesk users, um, you know, create accounts in order to view your stuff. Super cool. Um, you can mess around with some of the perspective views too. There's some nice um, uh, ability to sort of move around the scene. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, I was really excited to share it. So I just, I had to share it with you guys. So if you enjoy this, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you guys soon.